All right, uh, I have uh, the guys from Head of the Herd. Actually, everybody here from Head of the Herd in yes, studio. Sir. How's it, guys? How's it going, guys? It's going great, man. How are you? Fantastic. First time to Saskatoon for a lot of you? It is, yeah. <laughs> We're pumped. Can't wait. I got to welcome you guys to town. Uh, Lethbridge last night. Yeah. And it looks like your tour schedule pretty crazy. Oh, we're hustling. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. We're doing a doing a full full month pretty much every night, so it's great. Yeah, 21 shows this month. Jeez. <laughs> it's pretty much the dream job. Like you get to see the country in a way that not many people get to do. Oh, it's perfect, man. You get to you get to see everything. You get to meet people at the shows and you, I get to go to a bunch of places I've never been. So I I love it. Mm. Being on tour is great. So tonight it's at uh, O'Brien's Event Center looking forward to the show. You recently got to play with Guns N' Roses, right? We did. Yeah. Mm. This this summer we um we were playing in Calgary on a Friday at, at the Stampede and we got a call from our agent saying, "Hey, uh, not to throw a wrench in the gears, but can you guys be in Montreal for Sunday? And like we had a tour planned in Ontario, but no, this was not the idea. And we're just like, well, obviously, yeah, we'll make that work. So we switched everything up, flew to Montreal, but we're like, we can only make this show if the equipment is on stage when we get there, because we got to drive back to Vancouver, get all our things, and then go straight from the airport in Montreal to the stage. And they're like, all right, we'll make it work. So we hustled, we got there, and we did two shows with them. It was a riot, man. It was wicked. Did you get to meet Axel? No one meets Axel. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled up with a police escort in a blacked out suburban, went straight on stage, kicked behind for <laughs> two and a half hours, and then got straight back in that suburban. So you got to watch the show at least. Oh, yeah. yeah. And honestly, they, they ripped it. It was a good time. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So you got the new album out by this time tomorrow. I've been listening to it nonstop. Cool. You guys have a badass sound that I think nobody has going right now where do, where does this sound come from we we like to take a lot of the the what we say the traditions of our bluesy forefathers and then kick those traditions in the teeth a little bit too so we basically we made this record with in two sessions we did one with rick and james the guitarist from finger 11 so we did three songs with them in toronto and then we got together with garth garth richardson who's like the dude behind rage against machines first record he's a legend and we did six tunes with him back in vancouver and that makes up the nine songs on the record. But they uh, they certainly helped take... But guys, we did our, our first record before we'd ever played a show. And then we toured that for a couple of years. And we figured, you know what? The live sound is what's really important to us. That's what we got to get on tape. And that's what we did on this record. And that's mm -hmm. what I saw. Two sessions. Like, how long did that take to record? We honestly, it was a bit of... We kind of just... It was a bit of a whirlwind. We did, I guess, the, the three songs with the Finger Eleven dudes was what? Three, two weeks? Not even. I think it was only eight days in the studio. Eight days and, and a few we, days of pre-pro. Yeah, and then we banged out all the rest with Garth in less than a month. So yeah. it was it was a lot of writing beforehand. But when we got in the studio, it was just time to get down to business. And mm -hmm. nobody does albums like that anymore. Yeah. So well, it totally have the live vibe, and uh, you guys are ready to kick ass tonight at O'Brien's, right? Absolutely. Well, I think it's the Odin. Or is that they Ian just changed the name like no one told us. Like, all right, cool, literally Brian. a week ago. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> they just changed the name. So okay, if you cool. go to the place that you think was the Odeon, it is the right place. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, know, I'll know we ain't lost it. <laughs> all right, well, tell us about the songs you're going to play uh, for us today. Uh, well, today we're going to do two off the new record. We're going to do By This Time Tomorrow and Breathe Me Baby. And we have the lovely Brittany Willis going to sing that with us. So Awesome. Well, hope you enjoy it. All mm -hmm. right, guys. Mm -hmm. It's halfway through the set last night, getting ready to play a solo, and I was just like, well, that's mighty quiet. And I realized the piece that the, the, the cable plugs into got completely f***ing busted no. off. So the screws were on the ground, and I was like, that solo is not having it. <laughs> so I just got to get that thing repaired this afternoon. But Jeez. Get ready when you guys are. Just kind of ready. Two, three, four. By this time tomorrow, I won't love you like today By this time tomorrow I'll feel the break of day By this time tomorrow I'll have pissed away my pain By this time tomorrow I'll be lonely yet again I know I hurt you when I said I needed more. Oh, by this time tomorrow, you'll aim to miss your friend. By this time tomorrow, I'll barely even look. By this time tomorrow, you 
will do what you've been told By this time tomorrow You'll get back to the cold By this time tomorrow, I'll add wrinkles to my face. By this time tomorrow, I'll have only had a taste. By this time tomorrow, I'll be nearly falling down. By this time tomorrow, you'll be trying to dodge the ground. You leave me like you do before. I know I hurt you when I say I need it more. By this time tomorrow I'll be taking pills for pain by this time tomorrow I swear I'll be okay at this time tomorrow you'll bend me till I fall at this time tomorrow I say goodbye cruel world That's got to be plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, man. It's uh, you guys sound like so grown up, like you've been doing this for you know, forty years. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, can you please email our parents? <laughs> they sound like adults. <laughs> dad, 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 guess what Travis said. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you gotta tell me how long does it take to get that beard going? That thing's outstanding. I've been growing it uh, since the day after, no, like for a year, since Good December first. Because I've been growing the same amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very. It's this is true. I've actually had God. some trims too. So, what? That's yeah. the thing of beauty, man. I got, I got <laughs> mad beard jealousy, dude. That's yeah. great. My little bro- my little brother started growing a beard like that. If you if you can hit it's it, probably like that. It's like if, nice. you, have a beard if you can hit a cowbell, you're in the fucking band. <laughs> <laughs> All we need left is a cowbell and a beard in the van. So tonight I'll be uh, I'm a new I'll be on tour tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. You got white shirt and suspenders. You're in. <laughs> Where did that come from? The white shirt suspenders. Oh, Clay's got that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two there's two major components to that. First one is that. I don't have to worry what new new wears. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to dress them. Uh, the other thing is, in the tradition of the blues, all our favorite artists they they always wore suits like Muddy Waters, yeah. Chuck Berry, all those buddy guys. They all look professional. They weren't phoning anything in. They took it seriously and they dressed they dressed nice. They dressed the part. So that's kind of what we wanted to do and just. Make it a little bit different, so we put suspenders on. But basically, we just want people to know that we take this seriously. We look good. We're doing the part. We don't roll out of bed and yeah. do this. You know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's like the Don Cherry of rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, we can get some. We get some other <laughs> colors That's, in there. Except <laughs> yeah. so our collars are a little smaller. <laughs> yeah. Not quite like up to our ears. <laughs> last year we got during the I think it was it was a Blackhawks 
Detroit game. Yeah. They, uh, they used our song for the intro for Hockey Yeah, they used it in the playoffs. And, yeah. and so it was like the only time in history Don Cherry let Ron McClain talk and he was introducing our band. I was like, he's going to get cut off. He's going to get cut off. And he <laughs> got to say it. It was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Did you? I was insane, man. Because we, we didn't know they we were going to use it. Oh, and really? Like, they called us just to like. Um, just to pre-clear so it was basically but that means we're in a pile of what could be a hundred songs that they're allowed to use so they didn't and I, so I didn't know and then I'm sitting there practicing and I get a call from my dad he's like you better be watching television right now I'm like why he's like CBC now go and I turn on and our songs getting played and dudes are beating the hell out of each other too and it was awesome <laughs> so it was honestly it was, it was even more fun because I was surprised yeah it was really cool because yeah, you grow up, you grow up watching that your whole life, right? Everyone's watching the playoffs. And all of a sudden, it's you, and you're like, "Why are these dudes beating on each other?" It's like, "Cause that song is great to beat on each other too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, man, it's a fun time. Oh, this guitar is cold. <laughs> cold guitars, they don't. And, and they tuning. And warm, they don't want to stay in tune. <laughs> so if we're out of tune, that's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's, it's definitely the singing's nice. in tune, the guitars are out. Yeah. Is that a Freddie Mercury action figure? Yeah. God that damn, that's awesome. Yeah, that is fantastic. <laughs> break, saw? break him free. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> I, I saw one year, Katy Perry went uh, like to some awards. She was on Halloween and she went as Freddie Mercury, like with the mustache, she and had the short mustache hair, and everything. everything. Everyone's just like, why did you dress like that? She's like, well, all these girls just like dressing like sluts for Halloween. She's like, I dress like a slut 364 days out of the year. I wanted to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cover up my skin. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> this is a great piece of property you guys got. Oh. Like, this is a awesome We're pretty right lucky. Now. Yeah. So I'm new here, so I'm like... How long have you been around? Uh, two months. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's cool, man. I came from Cold Lake, Alberta. Sweet. I got some buddies who work in Cold Lake. Nice. Yeah. So like the studio here is completely different. I bet. It's like I'm in the, I'm in the big leagues, you know. <laughs> Sweet man. Well, well, congratulations. That's great. Awesome. Um, okay. Well, I'm ready to hit it if you are. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready for you guys to rock too. Okay. Cool. You you rolling? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> Metal underneath the overpass. The rain was too loud to hear her stairs She kissed me like she always did Felt like myself but still a kid So breathe me, baby That blood you taste Is my slow exhale Of life today I know you love me, but it's just too late So breathe me, baby Father was a preacher, but mama was a whore I drove us off a cliff, she still said I was a bore Now upside down and broken glass her body's pressed on mine at last My foot still hammered on the gas She finally said she'd had a blast So breathe me, baby That blood you taste It's my slow exhale Of life today I know you love me But it's just too late so breathe me, baby So breathe me, baby So breathe me, baby Took all of her things from out my desk Burned the bags of clothes and photos and all the rest She picked up my 12 gauge and put it to a chest I woke to only know she laid herself to rest 
So I breathe my baby That blood I taste Is a slow exhale Of life today You know I love you But it's just too late So I breathe my baby So I breathe my baby So I breathe my baby Yeah! There you go. Awesome. <laughs> cool, man. How many songs are you guys playing from the new album tonight? I think All we of them? the whole, whole thing. Yeah, yeah, see nine, for sure. Yeah. Probably mo dangerous amount of Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually the, there's a story. When, when we did that that song in the studio, it was one of the ones we did with Garth. And so we had, it was the end of a day and we tried to put put the vocals down for it and I was singing it and singing it. And he's just like, this doesn't, doesn't make sense. You don't sound... You don't sound like the dude in that story. It's like you don't sound messed up enough. You don't sound hurt enough. So he's like, here's what you got to do. You got to go home, get whiskey drunk, smoke all the cigarettes you can find. And when you wake up tomorrow, we're starting like three hours earlier. When you wake up, you don't talk. You don't drink a glass of water. You don't brush your teeth. You come right back to here and you sing that song. And so I'm like, all right, yeah, twist my arm. I'll go get shit faced. That's fine. And so I go home and we do that. And Clay and I stay up like till we're about. One job. Till we're about. Have to get Newman shit face. <laughs> I can do that. So, <laughs> so we we go we go and we behave like idiots for as late as we can muster it. Then I wake up cross-eyed, get back to the studio, and I show up, and he just I open the door, and he's sitting there, goes, points, he's going shh, points to the vocal booth. I walk in there, doesn't say a word, he just starts the song, and we sing it, and that's the that's the, those are the takes that made it on the record. And I sound like someone just punched me in the throat. It's awesome. So you do that on tour? <laughs> no. I, I, well, actually, well yeah, yeah, not intentionally, but it depends where the, where the stop is. Saskatoon might be a party town. Remember the Benny actually, <laughs> we put the vibra slap at the beginning of Oh, that? yeah. Because <laughs> Garth hates, do you know what vibra slap is? It's like that piece of percussion that you hit and it goes like. <laughs> okay. Well, Garth, uh, it's like those door stoppers. Yeah, honestly, it sounds <laughs> yeah. remarkably like that. Garth really hates those, so I think Ben and I, as a joke, put vibra slap on this really. Well, in, in every song, song we put the it. Very beginning of it, so that when Garth went to go do vocals, vibra slap would kick in, and he'd be like, "Fucking Ben!" <laughs> Newman's getting ready for this delicate moment. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Awesome. Head of the herd tonight, O'Brien's event center. Thanks for coming in, hey, guys. Man, thanks for having us. Mm -hmm.